Hey guys, so some of you might wonder how to get your music properly added to Kodi. There are some ways, but the best way that works for me is having it properly uh, structured on the on my server and using the proper programs to set your tags. So this is my folder on the server, which has a split in several sections. So Let's go to my music, albums. Here you see I will have my artist split out in separate folders. This has some advantages, it's like you can easily select all the artwork and have it properly organized. It's not really needed because if you. Um, oh. It's not needed but if you do it like this it looks great and why not so let's take an example of Daft Punk you see all the albums I have here you see a, a file name logo it's a PNG file which has a as you see it's a transparent uh, logo of Daft Punk itself which looks great after you set it up in Kodi we have some extra fan art, which is also used by Kodi itself. These are some random named JPEG files. I'll show you later on in Kodi. Here we have the Tron Legacy album. You see, I named it Artist, Album Name, Special Edition, The Year, just how I preferred it. I also split up the, the different uh, disk like CD1 and CD2. This has one advantage, so you can have a rotating uh, CD art in Kodi itself. As you see, I have all the, the file name properly named. What I also do is start the all the tracks that are on CD1, all start with one. If you go to CD2, they also start with CD number two. What we also have here is the CD art. It's a thousand by thousand pixel PNG file with a transparent background, which can be shown while playing music in Kodi, which I'll also sh show you later on. So this is how I organize my music. So I want to add a new album, Florence and the Machine. So, so let's do first do Create an artist folder. Forms on the machine. Let's move that new album to that folder. Okay. So now we have it properly located. As you see, it's still quite messy. Well, we're gonna sort it out. So the the, the scraper I prefer is using of the tagger is music brains picard and you can find it on their website let's see if you go to musicbrains.org it's on the right side so just click on it download it which i already did so let's go downloads install it as you see here standard windows warning Hit next this is just uh, the GPU license, GPL license, so nothing fancy. I want to install it on my second drive. All the languages, just give me the plugins as well. As you see, there's no free wire, freeware or hidden features you don't really need want to install. So this is quite safe. Finish. So let's start out Music Prince Picard. Um, let's see, this one is in Dutch. So I hope I can change that.
Oh man, why do you make it so hard to change the language? I just want English. Okay, um, I fixed my music brain, so... I had to delete the Dutch language because there is no option. Really strange. Oh well. So here we have the Music Brains Picard interface. It's quite simple. You have a lot of options, but I, the only thing I changed is renaming the files. So I want to look, have my files named like this, as you see. 205 for this two track name of the, the artist and the track name quite simple so I haven't used the, the renamer in music brains because I usually use text scanner so We'll see how that goes. So here we have all the files. What I do now is just drag them in. As you see, it's already loading the title. Here is the original value. Here are some new values. So what you can do is collect other versions so here you can actually choose if you know the the correct code of the the disk so i'll just have the the default value here you see it's, it has detected them all because they're all green if if it's not it has a red square next to it so then you have to drag it in the, the proper one so I just now hit save. So it's now writing all the, the values which it found from the, the music brain site to the, the mp3 files. So let's see if there's another one. I know there's one it cannot find, so it's Daft Punk. See, it doesn't auto detect it. So what you normally have to do is select all the files, hit cluster, which it cannot do now. So let's find another one. I have some disks which aren't known. Um, let's find raccoon. Untitled demo. It's a, it's a disc they only release to for a certain public. So as you see here, it's now it's all separate files. It didn't recognize them. Here you see the, the tagging that I added manually. So what I always do is select them all. Just click the first one. Hold Shift. Click cluster. So as you now see, you have a cluster. It's it's one album. If you don't do that, it will try to detect each file in its own. So we, it will split them possibly in multiple albums. So instead of just a single one. So always select all, hit cluster. What I now do is instead of scan, hit look up. It now tries to find that disk on music brains, which I know it cannot do. Maybe I have another one. The problem is I have all my albums properly scanned, but if you select them, cluster them, 
hit look up it will try to find that specific album on the music brain site and do it as a single album instead of possibly any random match you cannot and can find on that file so then if that's okay just click it hit save and you're done that's all it is so let's see is it renamed no wrong folder once in the machine as you see it also renamed them however it removed the artist so let's change that options file naming I I just want artist not empty see how that looks dot Remove that. It's quite tricky to get this right in because well, a lot of variables depend on it. Let's see, I don't, it's just one. I want the album artist. See if that works. Save almost. As you see, it already renamed it. It has a little flaw in it. So let's fix that again. Uh, it's this one dot there. That's right. So, I have all my files fixed. This cover art, as you see. So, now that's done, let's switch to Cody. Let's go to full screen. So, I had all my albums already scanned in, so I hit left, update library. So, as you see now, it's scanning through my new. As you see, it's now found Florence in the machine. So, once it's done, it's done. It should add, show up here as recently added. Let's wait till it's finished. As I said, there are multiple ways of actually properly tagging your music files. I find Music Brain is pretty reliable if you know how to use it. So, as I said, throw each album in, select all the files, cluster, look up. Don't use scan, just look up. And you can also go to the Music Brains website, which I'll maybe show you in another video. Because if it's not properly tagged already, for most part, it, it cannot find find it. So there's a way to actually link it to the website and then get fetch all the, the data there. Let's see if it already has it. Mm. Let's have this few, it's maybe easier to find.
As you see here, we, we have forms on the machine. And nicely scraped music information from the internet. All properly tagged. So, let me show. As you saw, it's all properly done. No hassle, it, it just works.